Oh, dang. About to fall over, Joe. Hey, hey, I know. Bam. We're going down. Hey. Uh, you gonna get it from the quick, bro. You gonna get it from the bottom pockets or the top? Cause it's going on the Lando. I'm going from the bottom. Okay. Alex is gonna have to go from the top, but let me stabilize it first. All right, guys. So uh, I'm jumping straight into the action here. It's about two, two in the morning, give or take. I got Joe in the Lando and Alex and Big Flipper. Let me stabilize it first, and then you'll you'll rig to the front so it's safe. They said it's a uh, heavy machinery. Oh. Yeah, it says machinery. Yeah, as soon as they said that, I was like, yeah, we're not going to counter counter lean this dude. We'll just put it on Orlando. So if you can oh, yeah. tell here how bad it is. Yeah. You'll see more once I stabilize it. I'm going to connect to the bottom holes and apply pressure on the leaning side. Once I do that, it'll be safe enough for Alex to rig up there to the front. We're gonna remove this container off this chassis. The load inside has shifted and there's absolutely no way to correct it. First of all, it's got a seal. And then on top of the seal, uh, it's heavy machinery. That's about it. Transformers in there. Transformers, bro. Look at that. Let me put the leg down. Look at that. That's what stopped it from blowing. Nah, the tire too. Look at. Yeah. It's in on the tire. Yeah, it stopped it from rolling over though. Yeah. You know what? It slid. It's probably on a pallet, and the pallet slid when it turned. Yeah. He took a little too fast, probably too. Let me get a little bit, uh, let me get a little more room. I'll put myself parallel to it. That way when we lift it off, he just goes straight and then we'll just hop jab it back up under it. Well, how do you want to do it? You want to be on that side and then pull it towards me? You know the weight? 30 something. Oh, that's light. Yeah, I thought you would have been on that side. He goes right there and he gets back up straight. Okay, I'll go on that side.
truck on the other side, so it's easy for you to back up. Yeah. That's what he's doing, I told him. See them backing up on what I I was thinking to go, how come I'm gonna get under it? Right, now that I got my things connected, I got the remote, I wanna put tension on the leaning side. Now you can see how bad it's leaning from here. You got the landing gear completely touching on the passenger side and this one up in the air. Let's uh, stand from right here. Alex is setting up big flipper. I'm gonna just extend out a little bit. Yeah, after we uh well, I think we look, yeah, okay. Stand on this side. We'll get a good gauge of how heavy this is right now. So get at a little weird angle, boom up, tighten up on the white. Oh yeah. Safe, I got tension. Safe, I got tension. Oh. Must start climbing then. So you got the tractor acts as a secure base, if you will, if that makes sense, uh, in the front. And then because I got it right here with tension in the back, it's now safe for Alex to throw up the ladder and rig to the top container holes. And then once he does that, I'm gonna untwist these locks. Then we'll be lifting this thing up in the air set on the land all right there.
for my baby's sleeve. Maybe put tension on mine then. Okay guys, like I said, quick and easy. Alex is ready. Take him off, yes. Wait till Joe walks by, and then we go in with both cables. You don't want to do it at the exact same time, because it's not an even load. Boom. See what I mean? Look how this one's in the air. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna let out on the blue one while simultaneously going in with the opposite side. And then rotating a bit this way. I'm airborne. Not too airborne, but it's off the locks. Perfect, man. Who's the driver? Ready. Hey, watch that outrigger. It's a bad long wheel mark. Ooh, Alex has that thing high. Can't be shown up. There we go. Nice and even. And the rain is coming. I hope it doesn't affect the camera. Oh yeah, if you notice too, I also put the regular these urethane sleeve cut in half right there on each end for extra protection for that pressure. You'll make it. <laughs> Joe, just have him go this way. This is the way he's supposed to go. Yeah, I told the driver once we're airborne, he just park next to my Lando. So then the Lando can back up and swap spots. Back up for what? Bye bye. See you in Compton. All right, Jojo, you're up.
Man, it feels good to do a job at this part of uh, Long Beach with no traffic. You're up, Joe. I'm trying to jack, maybe get it as far as I can this way. That's fine, because Alex can rotate and so can I. You want to try to uh, turn it a little bit? That way, that way, I like back. That way? Yeah, you that rotate. Way the knife as well. Alex, you rotate and go 90 degrees, and I'll rotate it behind me so we can kind of straighten it out, you know? Okay. Go for it. Good. Yo, so. All right, hold it. Now it's all me. All right. Now just like extend it out. So Joe has a nice even shot. Good. Very good. Oh, that's perfect, dude. Extend out. Go, Joe. Bring the land off. Love these sleeves. So the grommet sling itself is super protected. This gray thing isn't even the, the sling itself. There's like an endless loop inside of this. I think it's called the DC guard, and then on top of that, you got the the cover on it. And then when it needs it, well, my mom was we should have, would have, could have. Can we still do it? Yeah, we can still do it. That way, I guess it's pretty shot. Dude, I didn't think about that. That's genius. Let's do it. All right, so Alex and I are going to do the old switcheroo. Oh yeah, the rain's pouring down now, real good. Go, go down with the boom. Okay, sw swing it back to me now. I really hope the rain's not screwing all this up like crazy because this is pretty cool. I don't even think the Pocket 3 is waterproof. Now JoJo has a straight shot. This is what it looks like 
when you rotate a container. Okay guys, yeah, this rain is pouring cats and dogs in this pocket three is not waterproof. So I'm gonna stop the video now while we set this on the bed. I had to put my pocket away. Yeah. I don't, I don't wanna risk it, dude. It was so good and everything, but it's not waterproof. Yeah. Hey, you wanna back up more right there? More? Can I back up more? Yeah, we got all this. I can't, okay. You're good on that side. Get at least uh, this. Let's get this line uh -huh. right here to, to in between those two screws. Right here? Yeah. Okay. Out like two feet. Yeah. How do you see it? Oh, I, was, I was telling him that's why they pay you guys the big bucks. Uh, have to go more that way, no? Oh, yeah. You know what's weird? How come it's even in the back? I don't know. <laughs> it looks even up. Uh, I gotta I gotta come over a little bit. Guys, I apologize that came out very ugly because of the, for some reason, had to pour rain cats and dogs at that moment, but we're good. We have no tension. The Landau's perfectly straight. This is where we put shifted loads. A trouble load is what we call it on a Landau. With the chassis, the lock goes on each corner and it's set. So if one side's leaning more, you're screwed. It's gonna stay leaning. With the Landau, it's called offsetting it. So with all the weights right here, well, now the weight's still in the middle, even though the container looks like it's sticking off on this end, and you got about close to a foot in on this end, it's a centered load. And you test it by looking at the axles and the weight scale on the bed. Now you wouldn't go cross country with this. But locally, to get off the freeway to the customer's yard locally, yes. Alright, you know what? It's starting to feel the rain again. I'm gonna put this in my truck and help the guys chain up. Would you believe it stopped raining as soon as we got in the truck? That's uh, JoJo on the 3 axle Lando. Notice how I was saying earlier about uh, offsetting the container, look how nice and straight it is now with the load evenly distributed by changing the center of gravity on the bed where a container you would put it with an uh, even amounts of room on each end 
this one we gotta move it over to compensate for the heavy load on the passenger side all right cool i got alex now behind me so we're out of here guys hit you up when we get to compton all right i just want to show you guys again got alex killing the the number one lane next to me but the benefit of offsetting the a shifted container so we're on a very uh on an overpass right now getting onto the seventh and north it goes up and banks left very hard it's a big slope that's why it looks like we're leaning here but even with that uh, the land is perfectly fine the load is nice and center on the center of the bed so it's shifted inside the container, but on the bed of the Lando, it's center. And that's the benefit of that again. <laughs> you guys can see it in action on an extreme scenario, like a big turn. If you look at that, it stopped raining completely. Safely made it to the customer's yard here in Compton. We're gonna offload this baby. So they wanted uh, quite a few feet away from this wall. Lift it off the land on, just set it on the ground. About there should be 90 degrees. Yeah. Excellent.
ouais Ouais I'm about to break through. What happened? I want to slam it. My SD card. It might just be the SD card. Yeah, it's just an SD card. Do you need one? I have extra if you want. Do you need to one? Yes.
You gonna call me back? <laughs> My dispatcher called you. Let me, oh, let me check. Yeah, we're good. Good, yeah, it's bait. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you. Breakfast time. Breakfast time. Uh, Breakfast time. We're gonna have to. My kids wake yeah. up. <laughs> Thank you guys. All right. Yeah. Appreciate it. No worries. Cool. Thank All you, man. Good. Appreciate it. Everyone's happy. Right. <laughs>